Hello, my name is Robert Kay. I am product specialist here at Atlas Copco. Today we're going to talk about Tools and 8. So let's get into the software. In Tools and 8, we have a statistics center which uh, provides statistical valuation of your assembly process. You can look at one or two programs at a time, do a comparison between two different versions of a program or a left and a right hand side of the operation. Whenever you update a program on the controller, uh, any new results will be associated with a new version of that program. So let's set it up. So I'll set the date range. I will select the program. So this is the operation. I have a left and a right. So you got the right hand and the left hand. And I'm looking at OKs and torque. If I want to select something else, I can use angle or random angle. And you can set the group size. So here you have the uh, right hand and the left hand, the number of results for each program. And you have a list of KPIs. So here you have the CPK and the PPK value. And these are two commonly used measures of process capability. So how well your process is meeting the specifications. The supplier or the customer may require a CPK value of 1.33 or above. The major difference between CPK and PPK is the way the process is estimated. If CPK is approximately the same as PPK, then the process is in statistical control. The XBAR tab shows an XBAR graph of one or more two programs. So the chart plots the process mean over time for the groups and the group size is defined up here. The results are grouped by group size values of from 2 to 15. The range tab shows the range chart for the selected programs and I have selected two programs so you can see they are overlaid in different colors and I can hide one of them by just clicking on them. The range chart plots the process range, so that's the difference between the highest and lowest value over time. The histogram shows you the dis distribution of the torque results, or I can change it to angle. And I can zoom by clicking and dragging. They look fairly similar, but you can see there is a difference. Program Scatter is useful when benchmarking your assembly process, uh, so it's possible to identify outliers and comparing them to the reference trace. Uh, there's an option to explore how to fine-tune the program limits if you select one of the programs. So let's say, well, these look quite similar. The difference is you can see the final angle and torque limits, and you have two vertical bars up here saying high high angle and you can see under program compare there is a difference in the high angle limit so one has 2500 degrees and the other one has over 3000 degrees if I select one program you can see that I can see what happens if I adjust the limits Keep, keep in mind this does not change any configuration on the controller, but it will see how many of these outliers or deviations would be caught in the station. So it accounts for about 0.4%. Now I have set up a reference trace for this application, so if I click on one of the data points in the main group, I can see, compared to the reference trace, these are quite similar. And if I go back and click on one of these outliers, I just click on that point, it takes me to the trace. And I can see the reference trace is a dotted line, and the, the outlier that I selected looks uh, very different. So 
this is this could be a potential issue. So essentially, this part is helping you find the false OKs. And next, we have the trace analysis tab. So the trace analysis here is used up to 1,000 traces uh, to calculate standard deviation, range, and the mean trace. Uh, the actual number of traces depends on how you set up the filters. This tool works best for processes that don't have too much of a variation. Uh, due to the vast amount of traces and calculations, it may take uh, a little while for this tab to fully load. But you can see there's a torque angle, uh, torque over time, and a angle over time. So this bl big blue shape is essentially the torque range, which means looking at the last thousand traces, if you overlay all of them, this is essentially the outline of all of those traces overlaid on top of each other. So it's a bit like tracing the fingers on your hand. And that is how you use the Statistics Center. If you would like to learn more, please contact your local Atlas Copco representative. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.